lab, let the journey begin. Knowledge on tap, let the lessons sink in. Electricity, it powers our homes, fuels our devices, and drives the digital world we live in today. But what exactly is electricity? And how did humanity go from seeing it as a mysterious force in nature to building the massive power grids that run modern civilization? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating history of electricity, from its ancient discovery to the high-tech innovations shaping our future. Electricity has existed since the dawn of the universe, but for most of human history, it was a mystery. The word electricity itself comes from the Greek word electron, meaning amber. Around 2750 BC, the ancient Egyptians recorded encounters with electric catfish in the Nile River. They called them thunderers, amazed at their ability to deliver painful shocks. By 600 BC, the Greek philosopher Thales of Miletus noticed that when amber was rubbed with fur, it could attract feathers and small objects. This was the first documented study of static electricity, though at the time, it seemed more like magic than science. Even the Romans dabbled with this strange force. In the first century, they used electric rays, a type of fish, as a medical treatment for ailments like headaches. Meanwhile, in China by the 1100s, scholars were studying magnetism through compasses, unknowingly laying groundwork for future connections between electricity and magnetism. For centuries, electricity remained a mysterious curiosity, observed in nature, but not yet understood. The true study of electricity began in the 1600s. In 1600, English physician William Gilbert published De Magnet, a groundbreaking book in which he coined the term electricus to describe the attractive forces observed when certain materials were rubbed. Gilbert also separated electricity from magnetism, a vital step in understanding these forces as distinct phenomena. In 1675, Robert Boyle carried the torch forward, publishing experiments that showed electricity could pass through materials and influence objects at a distance. The 1700s brought a wave of bold experiments. Otto von Guericke built early friction machines. Stephen Gray demonstrated electrical conduction through wires. Charles Dufay proposed that there were two kinds of charges, which we now call positive and negative. Then came Benjamin Franklin. In the 1750s, Franklin conducted famous experiments with lightning, including his kite experiment. By proving that lightning was an electrical phenomenon, Franklin revolutionized how we saw nature itself. His work introduced everyday terms like battery, charge, and conductor. Most importantly, his experiments led to the invention of the lightning rod, saving buildings and lives. By the late 1700s, Luigi Galvani's experiments on frog legs revealed what he called animal electricity, hinting at the connection between biology and electrical energy. And in 1800, Alessandro Volta built the first battery, the voltaic pile, which for the first time allowed a steady flow of electricity to be generated on demand. The modern volt is named in his honor. Electricity was no longer just a curiosity. It had become a tool. The 19th century changed everything. Electricity leapt from scientific experiment to practical application. In 1808, Humphrey Davy created the arc lamp, the first form of electric light. Then in 1820, Hans Christian Ørsted discovered that electricity could create magnetism, proving the link between these two forces. Michael Faraday soon took this further. In 1831, he discovered electromagnetic induction, the principle that makes electric generators work. By rotating a coil inside a magnetic field, Faraday showed that mechanical energy could be turned into electricity. This discovery made large-scale electricity generation possible. Joseph Henry followed with the first practical electric motor. And in 1864, James Clerk Maxwell formulated the equations that unified electricity, magnetism, and light into one elegant theory electromagnetic waves. Then came a wave of inventions that reshaped daily life. In the 1870s, 
Thomas Edison built the first practical incandescent light bulb and later opened the Pearl Street Station in New York, the first central power plant. Around the same time, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, showing electricity could carry voices across distances. But the greatest rivalry of the century was the War of the Currents. Edison promoted direct current, or DC, while Nikola Tesla and George Westinghouse pushed for alternating current, or AC. In the end, AC won the battle because it could transmit electricity efficiently over long distances. This decision shaped the power grids we still use today. By the late 1800s, electricity was fueling industry, powering streetlights, driving communication, and even moving vehicles. In fact, by 1890, William Morrison had built the first practical electric car, and just a few years later, Niagara Falls was harnessed to provide hydroelectric power on a massive scale. Humanity had entered the electric age. As the 20th century began, electricity spread across the globe. Power lines expanded, factories mechanized, and households lit up for the first time. In the 1930s, the Tennessee Valley Authority helped bring electricity to rural America, bridging the gap between cities and farmlands. By mid-century, new energy sources emerged. In 1954, the Soviet Union opened the first nuclear power plant, and by the 1970s, solar power began to make its way onto rooftops. Electricity became not just about light and power, but also about electronics. The rise of radios, televisions, and eventually computers created new demands for electricity. By the late 20th century, wind and solar technologies began to grow, while emissions controls tried to reduce the environmental impact of coal and oil. Electricity was no longer a luxury, it was a necessity. Today, electricity stands at the center of the fight for a sustainable future. As the 21st century began, the world saw the rise of smart grids, LED lighting, and widespread renewable energy. By the 2010s and 2020s, renewable sources like wind and solar grew rapidly, surpassing fossil fuels in some regions. Lithium-ion batteries enabled electric vehicles to become mainstream, while newer technologies like flow batteries and hydrogen storage promised even more breakthroughs. Advanced solar panels like perovskite and bifacial designs boosted efficiency. Floating solar farms appeared on lakes and reservoirs. Meanwhile, small modular nuclear reactors offered a new vision for clean and reliable power. Artificial intelligence has become a key player, predicting demand, stabilizing grids, and managing the massive amounts of renewable energy being integrated. Power electronics, using advanced semiconductors, have made energy systems more efficient than ever. By 2025, electricity is not just about powering homes. It's about fueling data centers, driving electric cars, running AI systems, and reducing carbon emissions to combat climate change. It has become the foundation of modern life. From the ancient Egyptians studying electric catfish, to the Greeks rubbing amber, to the monumental discoveries of Faraday, Edison, and Tesla, the story of electricity is the story of human progress. What began as a strange spark is now the lifeblood of modern civilization. And as we look to the future, electricity will only grow more central. Renewable power, advanced storage, smart systems, and even new nuclear technologies will continue to redefine how we live, work, and connect. Electricity is not just a scientific discovery. It is humanity's greatest enabler. And its story is far from over. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, stay curious, keep learning, and you always win with Hattie Hats.